and donations. Also happening today, U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy will be in Shreveport for a tour of Overton Brooks VA Medical Center. Uh, Cassidy has worked in public health for more than 30 years, so visit with patients and discuss the challenges facing Overton Brooks. And he joins me live in the studio right now. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Uh, one thing I do want to touch on before we get over to the Overton Brooks uh, Medical Center, uh, mental health legislation that uh, you recently uh, passed, a bipartisan move to pass this. Uh, this is something that a lot of people believe are in di direct response to so many gun tragedies also in America. Can you uh, give us a little more detail on that? Cherise, every family is affected by mental health issues. They Either someone in their family or someone whom they know well. And it can be destructive of the person, of the family, but sometimes spills over into society. Uh, now, uh, it's true of my family, mm -hmm. um, maybe true of yours. Yeah. So the, 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 the way to address the mental health approach on the federal government level has not been good. Mm -hmm. Focusing on kind of minor issues relative to, say, schizophrenia or paranoid, schizophrenia or bipolar disease, et cetera. So this would create an opportunity for the federal government to improve its response in a way that can meet the person before it spills out into a tragic accident, rather can meet their need when it's still controllable. And how is it that medical professionals will be able to help identify uh, someone who has a mental health disability? Yeah, so that's going to be, um, if you will, that's a step down from where we are. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to reorganize the federal response, and so it's more effective. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of programs right now, but none of them are to the degree they should be for major mental illness. If you think of the homeless person walking down the street speaking to herself, uh, it doesn't really address that as effectively as it might other issues. That's the person whom, who really needs more resources, more treatment, more research. All right, uh, Overton Brooks, you'll be visiting today. So let's talk about this. We've had a huge uh, scandal at the VA. What is it that you're looking for? What change is it that you're looking to see at Overton Brooks? And if you don't see that change, uh, what is it that you can do? What powers do you hold where you can make it happen? Working backwards in your questions, I'm on the Veterans Administration Committee in the Senate. Mm -hmm. And I requested that because it gives an opportunity for me to take my medical expertise and to plug it in as to what's going on at a specific facility but also system-wide. Now, first, you build relationships. I found in life that if you build relationships, you can hopefully um, come to a lower key level and make things better. Yeah. But trying to learn things so that when I go back to Washington, I can ask those administrators, well, I saw this, and I saw this. What can we do to improve? The VA will not turn around overnight. Mm -hmm. But by kind of observing and studying, we can make it better. We've got to take care of our veterans. We have to take care of our veterans, and this is part of my commitment to do what I can to take better care of our veterans. Okay, hopefully you are pleased with what you see. Uh, we're hoping that ha to not have any more issues over at Overton Brooks, but I know that you'll do directly have an effect if there are some things that need to be changed. St. Paul said we go from glory to greater glory. Whatever improvements they've made, there can be more, mm -hmm. but that's true of you and me. So it doesn't necessarily judge. It just says whatever is there, most likely in some place can get better. And once it's better there, perhaps in another place yet. So um, I'm not going there to criticize. I'm going there to learn. Exactly. Thanks so much, Senator Cassidy. Thank we'll you, be right back.